Well, good afternoon from Hong Kong. Alan here. I haven't I haven't made a video in quite some time. I've been kind of busy uh, learning computer code and things of that nature. Because now with with my solar, you know, being exclusively off grid, you know, around the boat here, um, totally free of all wires or any type of connection other than uh, an anchor <laughs> holding me in place. Um, I've got the solar charge controller and my solar panel. Though you know that's what makes all of our power. Well, it this controller. It's a Morningstar. It's TS60, uh, 60 amp. And what it is is now this Morningstar controller has an output. It outputs data. You can data log all kinds of stuff. Well, I've been putting it together. If you've watched my videos, I've got one. It's my solar system, and goes into detail about you know my um, the entire system. So what I've made is Morningstar does not have a user interface. Um, now I use Morningstar because they're bulletproof. Like for me, I am on around seawater, saltwater, so. I've I've had a, a midnight classic, uh, but that has a fan inside it, and that just sucks in all the salt air, and it, they ended up failing within the first 90 days. So, and can't warranty something that's my fault. So anyway, so that's why I've gone and I've stayed exclusively with Morningstar hardware, because they are so bulletproof for me on the boat, being around salt water. So anyway, well, I've got all this data that comes out. I've got it linked up to my network in that. Well, what I've done is I've made a online web monitor. Even though I'm off the grid, this is a website that I have. And I just wanted to show how I've made it for my needs. Um, there's so many, so many different user interfaces and all of that, but I, I need something that's just tailored for me. So I've made it myself. So I've learned the PHP, MySQL, and Dreamweaver, and all this HTML stuff. So I've, I've learned it myself, but what I've done is I've based it. Um, if we look here on the, on the left-hand side here, is we've got a calendar. That's the absolute remote control. That does everything. And what it is, it tells my system here tells you know my system and that and again it's the name of the boat Le Grand Pied or Bigfoot um, is the direct English translation and here in Aberdeen uh, Hong Kong it's a bow array it's 1200 watts and again it says it's the the morning star and it's number one which is the TS 60 MPPT so now what I how I've set it up is I've got this section up here as you can see it says day well, this section right up here with the three gauges will give me a daily um, output, the reference that I need to see, which is my minimum battery voltage, my maximum battery voltage, and that, and how many amp hours that I use at night, what I consume. So that's here on the day part. The very top corner here, this goes and tells me the life. So the lifetime kilowatt hours and the lifetime amp hours. And, that, and then this area that's right here, now this goes and it tells me the basic information about just my batteries here for my um, the battery state of charge average. Um, I still have to work on the the formula for this. It's not just not working for me, but I'm I'm still this is a work in progress. Um, it tells me how many deep cycles, so how many times I've gone below uh, uh, fifty percent state of charge. So I've got fifteen deep cycles so far on my batteries, which is about two years. Um, then these two um, tell me an alarm on my charge controller and if there was a fault, something that happened, and it will tell me this. Then down below this we have, over in this area, which is the month. So on the month it's going to tell me my amp hours or kilowatt hours for by the month in this graph. And then here is the year, and that again, amp hours and kilowatt hours. But again, as it says here, you have to select on the calendar. So that 
is what we're going to do next. But um, down at the bottom here in this, this little dashboard at the bottom here, again, it tells me the, the Hong Kong time. It's always going to, so if I have friends and family want to know what's happening with Alan and May in Hong Kong, um, they'll know what my time is. Um, again, I have a weather outlook. This tells me, because now there are a lot of preppers and there's a lot of reasons people go off the grid or they have solar systems. Me, my main goal is because it's the right thing to do. Um, it's good for the planet. It's good for me. I'm using less power, but I still have everything that I need. So again, CO2 reduction, carbon reduction, my carbon footprint. So far, um, the life of this system in that I have reduced 540.98 pounds of CO2 from going into the atmosphere. That's just what I've prevented. Now, if there's if there is one billion homes on this planet, and can you imagine if everybody in their home went and reduced this? I mean, we wouldn't have this wor any worries about climate change and global warming and all that. But now, now the next um, item here is my return on investment. So again, based on all this gear cost me money, and the first day I had it going, to me, it paid for itself. I had a full return on investment. The first day that my refrigerator made ice and I was able to sit out on the bow and have a gin and, con gin and tonic with May at sunset, the system paid for itself. But I have a lot of friends and they're very critical about that. So they said, well, no, you have to really, what is your return on investment? And that, So right now, um, the system hasn't paid for itself yet. Um, still 427.79 cents, and this is all by U.S. dollars, because um, that seems to be the international currency that people can can relate to. So that's what I've put on here, even though we use Hong Kong dollars here. And that, so basically, this is what it is. So let's let's kind of go into it. So again, this calendar is my remote. Now, if we go, um, I've got it set up because I've just started data logging and the information. Is just starting from July 1st, so July 1st, 2016. So if we click on July 1st, 2016, here we go. Um, up in the top here, it tells me that I made 115.6 amp hours, um, 3.2 kilowatt hours uh, came in. Uh, my minimum battery voltage, my minimum battery voltage, 24.49. Maximum, I was at 29.8. Um, was up into the absorb stage. And that evening, I used 68 amp hours. Now, again, this monthly graph is going to tell me, and it, it comes up, everything is always amp hours. I live on amps, so amp hours is the most important to me in that. And so, but I've, I've got friends that they, they're grid tied, they, they only focus on kilowatt hours. So I've got these two buttons that are right here, as you see, KW and AH these two buttons so it's on amp hours green the green chart again this tells me um, day by day and then this is by month by month by month over here but now if you click on if you want to see the kilowatt hours you click on that the kilowatt hours will come up and go back again to the amp hours so this goes in and you can go by month now if we we select over here and that now we've gone into August and say like we select August 10th again this happens daily this tells me what my daily battery charges are again I still have to fix I mean it wasn't 86 percent state of charge but um, let's also let's go into I think in September um, September 1st yes I had an overcurrent I had a, a fault um, when I had an overcurrent so we reset the system so I think down on the 20th no, it wasn't the 20th or 21st. But anyway, um, we get alarms and all that. So this, this does tell me. Now, this is all information that is very, very important to me, and I want it logged. Right now, I'm manually entering this um, all the, into the database that's at, at the server. I think the server's in somewhere in the USA. But anyway, this is all important information now I want to add more to this so what I've done is I've got these buttons I have a main and a detail down here in the bottom right hand corner 
So again, we're at the main screen, the main dash, and if we click on details, I've got more surface area to work with, more real estate and that. But also, I have my weather button. So the weather, knowing what my sunshine is and things are going to happen, uh, I've got your day, the date, the forecast, um, again, the minimum temperatures, maximum temperatures, and wind speeds. Now I'm going to be putting up two wind turbines. So what I've been doing is I've been, because I have this website up, my website, um, I've got the convenience. I don't have to go to any other websites. It's all right here. I've got my wind speeds, the gusts, the direction of the wind, UV, relative humidity and precipitation. Then over here, which is also very, very, very important for me, is I, how many hours of sunshine are going to happen. So I've got sunrise and sunset, and this tells me by the day. <coughs> Excuse me. So that goes and it tells me, and again, I've got friends and family that are not familiar with the Celsius system or the metric system, so I do have a button down here that is for Fahrenheit and imperial measurements for wind speeds, miles per hour, and the Fahrenheit. So, I mean, that's, that's basically it. Um, so I have my weather, um, my main dash. Again, it goes in, and I can monitor every date you select you will get the full day's data and automatically when the page loads you get the lifetime that's on here what my co2 reduction is and again my return on investment so these are just the basic features that i have now this is tailor made for me i do not sell it i'm not selling anything um, this is what i've made for me this is what works and i can if I ever want to change it, I can change it. But learning all this code to to make these these um, gauges, to these charts, again, they're all it, it's free as long as it's personal. Because again, it's not I'm use, not using this for commercial use. So again, I've I've gone down. If you go down at the bottom of the page, I've got again off grid power tools used. Again, my kind of thanks. I'm giving credit where credits due. Morningstar, um, where I bought my solar panels from, the factory, uh, U.S. batteries, or the lead-acid batteries I have. And, of course, one of the most important tools on building anything, beer. And that, and, but anyway, to build this website, um, I use this jQuery, which is JavaScript, and high charts is what these charts are, PHP and my SQLI. I like the, the logo. It fits in pretty cool for my theme because I'm on the water. It's a dolphin. But um, back to um, the, the web monitor or the solar power. Yeah, it's just a web monitor, basically. Um, I have the ability to go in and say if I get a second system, a second array on the bow, I can click a button up here and uh, get things to change. And I can keep adding to it. And that's a nice thing because when... Like I've I've seen um, midnight midnight solar midnight classic. Um, now it, it comes with it, you know an integrated system, and I guess you can put it online and all that. But again, it's when I've played with it, I you're kind of stuck at that, and I I didn't like the feel. It wasn't for me. It just I may work for other people. It just didn't work for me. But now again, this is easy on my eyes, and I, I can see this so much simpler. My gauges, you know, when I load the page, boom, it comes right up. That's exactly what I want to see. I have my gauges. I have the green zones, which is safe, yellow, which is a little bit of danger, and then my red zones, which is absolute danger, and you just never want to be there. So, But these gauges will tell me. Um, and now recently... Uh, because we've had all these uh, hurricanes, typhoons um, coming through, we've had like days that if we click on this on the 21st, let's go on the 21st. On the 21st, I only got 9.6 amp hours came in that day because it was just a horrible typhoon. And that, but as you can see, the days are getting shorter. Um, I'm able to see this. This is also showing me graphically. I can see. Hmm, you know, our, we're starting to use more power, uh, you know, just consuming things. We just need more power because we're doing more stuff. So now it makes me think, I've, I've, hey, i got to start adding some more solar panels, and I've got to get this wind turbine up and doing those things. And that's what the system, my monitor does. 
and uh, and I there's a, I'll put a link down in the bottom. You guys can uh, go to it and kind of see how it works. But everything revolves around this calendar, which which is cool. So you click a date and everything changes. Um, again, I've I'll be adding different things to it, but again, this is my system. So if you're ever interested in what's Alan and May are doing and how much power they're doing, all you got to do is go here and look and see what's going on. I, we do, I have, I mean, it'll be my website, but I am building, you know, the website for us. It'll be about May and I and, and the other things that we're doing. But the most important thing is, I mean, on my website, this is me and this is my web monitor. So I go here, click on that, and boom, I come straight to my web monitor. And now, but again, I can go back. Um, we started, I haven't got anything really made up yet, but again, there's just May and I. So, and like to thank a friend of mine in Canada, D Dive Crew Canada, uh, he made that for May and I, which I thought was pretty cool. So, anyway, that's my web monitor. Uh, check out the link that's, you know, in the description below. Kind of play around with it and tell me your thoughts. And again, I only use Safari. Um, I don't use Firefox or Chrome or anything, and it's well, or Internet Explorer because it's a Mac. So um, tell me what it looks like um, in different browsers and if there's something I have to change. But I hope you like it. Um, I do. I'm very proud of it, and I've I've learned and I've learned by myself. I am not a computer programmer at all by any means. Um, never had any education to do it. I just taught myself and that PHP and database MySQLI or whatever. Uh, it's been fun. It has been a lot of fun and the thing is you can do it yourself and I guess it's just another DIY project that if I can do it, anybody can do it. So from May and I here in Hong Kong, be good, be safe, and always, always be well. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.